over the Phoenix Suns, a half game lead over Phoenix, and you see that the Suns have the toughest remaining schedule in terms of opponents' records. Plus, they have to play the most games versus the Western Conference. The Mavericks at 27 and 6 in the West have played 33 games against the Conference. The Suns have played the least at 28. Dallas has it to get the game started tonight against a Western Conference team. As a matter of fact, the Southwest Division squad, who has yet to win a game, by the way, in the division this year, including last night's 98-90 loss that Memphis suffered against the Houston Rockets. A drive by Devin Harris does not net a basket for the Mavericks on their first possession. And a quick Mike Miller three. Boom. Was right out of the shoots. They're, they're going to they're gonna come out firing, and then and that's, uh, that's the style. Get it down the floor. First guy with a good look, take the shot. And it's Miller, and you don't want him to get good looks. 32 last week in a game against Dallas. Harris back outside to Howard. Right back at you with a three of his own. Take that, Mike Miller, says Josh Howard. And it evens the score in the first minute. Well, the guy with the, with the tough assignment is Devin Harris. Devin Harris is guarding Mike Miller. The soul down low. Rudy Gay had it knocked away. Five on the shot clock. And Gasol fumbles it. Loses it again, and the shot clock runs out to go to the Dallas defense, but they took it away before the clock actually expired. So they'll get a chance to make a quick move, and it's Howard drawing a foul. Well, we're seeing a, a similar start here as it relates to Josh Howard. He was able to hit the three-pointer, got the ball, and was trying to create an opportunity there. Josh Howard's career against Memphis, but he has not played in a single game against the Grizzlies this season. Missing last week's contest and the two games that Dallas played in November against Memphis because of the ankle spray that he suffered. Remember Tony Baroni's response when I asked him a question uh, last week when we were in Memphis about Josh Howard, whether or not he was an All-Star? I believe the response was absolutely, yeah. right? <laughs> yes, it was. Well, a lot of people seem to think so, but apparently not enough, at least not enough of the right people seem to think so when the balloting was conducted last week. That's nice defense by Jason Terry. And then it's Gasol in the lane, and that foul is on the floor. Tonight's officials, Tommy Nunez Jr. just made the call along with Tom Washington and Derek Collins. And so Jop hit with an early foul, making his fourth start of the season, but his first since the first three games. Working against Terry at Sotomayor. To Miller. On the drive. Lawrence Roberts knocked away by Job, and another possession ends up with Dallas forcing the turnover. Dirk with a steal. Jason Terry catch and shoot. Three ball. And Dallas extends the lead to 8 3. Nice Maverick start after that first miss by Devin Harris. They've hit a couple of baskets. Both of them threes. And sandwiched in between a pair of free throws by Howard. Mark, as you would expect, DJ Benga is activated for this ballgame tonight uh, with Dampier out. Jump with one foul already. Uh, DJ may get an opportunity for some early minutes, maybe even some lengthy minutes if, if he's productive. Dirk got one block, then Stoudemire missed the shot. And Nabitsky with a rebound. And the aerodynamic look. Dirk hits the basket. Aerodynamic look. Yes. And you, you mentioned earlier that he got his ears lowered. He didn't get him lowered. He got him, I mean, dropped way down. <laughs> he oh, did. Foul Gasol with the basket. Back-to-back 30-point -back games for Gasol. 30 last night. He went 13 of 28 against Houston and, che and checked in with 13 rebounds as well. And five assists and five blocks. In and out. Howard got it back. Unable to get the finish. Memphis ball with Dallas in front, 10-5. How often do we see Josh Howard get his own missed shot back? We see that a lot. He's very good at that. Memphis comes in tonight, by the way, with a road record of three wins and 20 losses. Harris holds Miller down on the post. You know what? One of the reasons I like Harris on Miller is because what Miller did there. He thinks he's going to post him. And you would um, much rather have Mike Miller posting up than standing out of the perimeter bombing threes. You got it. Yep. That is that is not the strongest point of his game. Not to say that he can't do it. Oh, Rudy Gay gets a big dunk.
It's interesting how sometimes teams will do that, Bob. You'll get so focused on a mismatch that you will drift away from things that aren't necessarily a player's strong point in your team. That's what happens, and you, you, you want to take advantage of that team's strong point. Oh, it's tough to find a pitch deep. And don't worry so much about attacking the mismatch. Let the mismatch happen naturally. See, now that's another one. See, I'd rather have him doing what he just did than taking that shot on yep. the other side of the floor. Rudy Gay missed the three-pointer. Edgar comes away with it, and Dallas tries to get out in transition. Howard got it. And the Mavs double up Memphis. Lawrence Roberts lost it. Harris finds Terry on the break. Banked it in. Good offensive pressure. Excellent offensive pressure. Veroni wants a timeout. This start is everything Dallas could have hoped for. They look fresh after a three-day break. And they jump on the Grizzlies early. A nine-point advantage. And Memphis takes time. Four minutes, 17 seconds into the game. Dallas has hit six of their first nine shots. The last two have been in transition. Howard to pull up. And then Jason Terry from Devin Harris. Off the glass. Dallas leads by nine on FSN Southwest. Frankie. Represented league in the World Cup. Barclays English Premier League. Get ready for the start of a golden era this season. One team looks to build a dynasty, while resurgent clubs fight to create their own legacy. And at the other end, newly promoted clubs come face to face with their destiny. Competition is stronger. Victory is harder. Elements leading to a dramatic finish. Barclays EPL on FSC. Covering the world of motorsports like no one else. This is the Speed Report. Oh, look at that. Going beyond the highlights. Special sauce with a band. To bring you the full story. How did you do it? With expert analysis. What Formula One needs is personality. A brilliant victory for him today. The guy that got shafted here. And unrivaled access. Great pit stop. Heck of a race. You went for it. From the network, the drivers watch. The Speed Report. This is awesome. The Speed Report. Only on Speed. Closed captioning is brought to you in part by... Join Best Western Speed Rewards and earn valuable points or miles at any Best Western hotel. Points are redeemable for all sorts of rewards, including exclusive NASCAR licensed merchandise. Join today at bestwesternracing.com. Well, the Mavericks have jumped out to a nine-point lead. Crowd enjoying it so far, and they've seen Dallas push the tempo. The Mavericks have nine fast breaks on Jason Bob. They had 19 of the game against Minnesota on Saturday. Really pushing the ball. That's what happens when you can force some turnovers. Yeah, they put you in transition. Look out here. The sold out. Pow! Oh, oh, he gets the dunk. Oh, and that was the little shot yeah. right there. And a little vocal emphasis that's, uh, afterwards. That's a heck of a play. He's a really good basketball player. Gasol can do a lot of things. Oh, oh, Dirk had it knocked out of bounds. Dallas ball 12 to shoot. Talked about the soul's varied skill set. You get him below the free throw line, he can handle with both hands, he can finish with both hands. Goes, goes both ways, and he, he really, really does. Four to shoot, the dirt pump make and drive. And the left hand finish. I think he fooled the defender by moving the ball over to his left hand, keeping it away from the defense. The lead is nine. And Dirk's there for the rebound as Gasol missed the shot. Dirk coming out of an 18.5 rebound game. Shooting just 34% in his last three games, but Davinsky has hit all three shot attempts he's taken tonight. He joins Terry in a pick and a roll. Jet feeds Howard for the three that nearly bounces home. Oh, there's Jop inside. Foul as he tries to get the finish. Heads to the line. Excellent offensive rebound by Jop. A good, a good job going to the ball. 
Pretty animated Avery Johnson right there. Chop inside, nice job here blocking out. You see him, but then when the ball comes off, he goes through the ball. And that's what you do. You make contact with the guy, you bump him, but then you don't always stay with him. Once you see the ball, you release from the bump or the blockout and go directly to the ball. Make contact with the guy that you are blocking out, and then go directly to the ball. And that's what Jop did. What? Don't ride that guy if the ball's not coming that way. Now you got to release and go to the basketball. And you see his line from Saturday. That includes, and obviously the big part of it is the 12 rebounds, but also a season of best six points. And Avery Johnson said before tonight's game that he has Sagana on a plan, much like the plan he has Jerry Stackhouse on, much like a plan he had Devin George on earlier in the season. And in talking to Sagana before the game, he says it shows that people care about you. And he understands that the hard work pays off, like his first summer with the Mavericks when he lost all the weight coming from Cleveland. He says he's really been working on his offensive game, and he feels much more confident on that end of the floor, really working around the hoop, trying to catch and finish strong. I think there are some guys, Laura and, and Mark, that uh, they have to have people push them. There are players who are not good at pushing themselves. They, they need to have that boost, and Robert Hackett was talking about it. He's the strength and conditioning coach. He thinks that Ghana is one of those kind of guys. Where he needs people riding him and pushing him to help him get where he wants to go. And it doesn't mean Stavitsky nails another hoop. It doesn't mean that Ghana doesn't want to do the work. No. It doesn't mean that he, you know, is unwilling to work. He just need somebody to push him to get him to do it. That, that, that's exactly right, and some, and some people are, are that way. And, and some people, once you do that for a while, you push them, and, and you drive them, then pretty soon they get it. And once they get it, it may take two, three, four years. You know, a young guy like yourself, once you get it, <laughs> they don't have to push you anymore. Once the light bulb goes on. Then, then, you're, all, then you're on your own. <laughs> you're on your own. Powell sitting on the bench here. Alexander Johnson has come in the game. A rookie out of Florida State. And the Mavericks have put in Greg Buckner. He's replaced Devin Harris. Howard. Dallas up by nine. Memphis has the ball off Howard's miss. Josh's temperament has improved so much since he's been in the league. He's, he's grown up. He's matured. He's not there yet. Um, nobody would be at his young age, but uh, he, he, is, he is learning. That he doesn't allow some of the things that happen out there, whether it be a bad call or a shot that he misses that he thinks he should have made, doesn't allow that to really get to him. How about it? Wow. That's a, that's a lob pass that just went in. Yes, indeed. The and prayer Allie, was answered. An alley pass that went in. And now, now you, you think they're not dangerous? When you do stuff like that, doesn't matter who you're playing. So Damon Stoudemire with a three-point basket, his first points of the night. Pounce on the drive and around and in. See, he didn't allow the missed shot the last time down the floor to stay with him. Uh, Josh felt like he should have made that shot the last time down. You could tell by the way he reacted, but he, he, he left it at the other end of the floor. Now watch this. Watch this uh, pass. The alley-oop pass. You're going to see, see this cut here? See that cut? There's the alley oop pass to him. <laughs> and it, it went in. Look at Stoudemire. Watch this. Watch Stoudemire. He's looking, he's looking to make And then he, he stands there and looks at him like, how in the world did that happen? And Jason Terry had a similar look, the player defending him yes. in that situation. <laughs> so Stoudemire comes into tonight, by the way, at nearly 37% on threes. And, uh, that one was not one that he planned. No, it, it wasn't, but that's the kind of thing you want to do when you have the ball out of bounds because it, per the rule book, it's the only time that an offensive player can go into the cylinder, catch and dunk. Dirk lays it in. He's five for five to get it started. So what you do when you're out of bounds with the ball is you try to make it because you know your teammate, if you don't make it, he can go in there and guide it in. Ten-point Dallas lead, and it's Akeem Ward with the finish inside. Mavericks quickly head the other way. Offensive foul, Jason Terry. Mike Miller draws the charge. Turnover Dallas, 3.56 remaining, first quarter. That's Dallas's first turnover. By the way, that Howard drive and score they had, that was uh, their last score was the Dirk basket. Prior to that, Howard drove to the hoop and got a lay-in. That was the first basket tonight out of the 10 the Mavericks have in the game where they did not have an assist. Wow. 
It's retired to Alexander Johnson. Finish on the first time, but he got the second one, and then he just got a technical foul for taunting. He hung on the rim, too. I'm not sure if that's for hanging or if it's for taunting. I think taunting. He uh, let you loose with quite a yell after the dunk. And I think that's okay. I mean... Seven point lead. Hey, that's an excellent play down there. And it just gives you an idea of the explosiveness there. Watch this. Jop went for the block, but Deep Jop was a quick one off the floor. Now listen. Maybe it was just too loud. Huh? What do you think? Yeah, that could be it. That you could be it. Did you do that when you used to dunk? Back at Bradley University? Oh! I, I was dunk. hoping Dirk was going to do that. I could dunk that. I, I, I'm, I'm, not dispute, I'm not disputing that in the least. I know you could. But I didn't holler. You didn't? No. Why not? When, when you're a guy that plays coming off the bench, you don't holler. <laughs> Alexander Johnson just did. You, you just shut up and play. <laughs> A trip to the line here for Dirk, who already has 11 points tonight. He had 18 all game on Saturday. 3.28 to go in the first. If I could, I would be so excited. I would probably yell like that, I you, have to admit. You will never experience this, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> There's no chance of improving your vertical in your mid-30s? Is that what you're telling me? In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> Nine-point lead for the Mavs after the Dirk foul shots. And Johnson gets another one. And it toned it down a little. Toned it down a little that time. He, he didn't holler that time, did he? <laughs> Not only as loudly or as uh, long of a holler. He, he is a young player. That, uh, he's very, very talented. There's some good young players on, on this Memphis team. Warwick. Rudy Gay. Who will be the coach of the Grizzlies next year? That's a big question. Well, here on Rudy Gay. That's his second foul. Devin George with free throws. Tonight's Ford fact, the highest scoring average in the league since December 30th. That, of course, is when Tony Baroning took over two days after he was named the head coach. And the Grizzlies right up there with the high-octane Suns. Phoenix averaging 111 points a game. The Grizzlies averaging 110 per night since then. The Wizards, Lakers, and Warriors all scoring at a pretty uh, pretty impressive clip as well. That's think, tonight's Ford fact. I think the Mavericks come in more, an even 100, don't they? Well, for the year, they come in at an even 100. Even 100, right. Yes, for the season. That ranks ninth in the league in scoring. Devin George split his free throws. The Grizzlies have not been to the line tonight. Well, we oh. talked about that. Until now. One week ago when we were in Memphis. Uh, you know, they're, they're a jump shooting team. And Miller, Axis, Stoudemire, and even Gasol is a good jump shooter. Now, he will try to get to the basket, but they don't shoot enough free throws. They're going to shoot two after the timeout. Alexander Johnson will go to the line. Dallas up eight. Hey, guys. Hey, Tom. You know, you're the only one that hasn't switched. Take advantage of Reliant Energy's low rates before TXU's high summer bills arrive. Switch to the secure plan today and receive a Target gift card worth up to $50. Cool. Whenever I'm around evil, I change into Ghost Rider. So tonight you'll... I believe so. On February 16th... You're freaking me out. The adventure begins. Let's ride. Ghost Rider. You all right? Yeah, I'm good. I feel like my skull's on fire, but I'm good. Ready PG-13. Achieve MPG happiness. Observe. Huge capacity. Explore precision steerology. Introducing a new kind of crossover vehicle, the highly enlightened Kia Rondo. Welcome to Rondoism.
Mavericks have an early eight-point lead with 2.48 left in the first quarter. Well, we talked tonight before the game started about the potential benefits of Dallas having three days off between games. And that freshness appears to be paying off. They really attacked some of the first quarter, Bob. 11 fast break points. We can look at some on the Kia drive to the hoop. Yeah, and, and the important thing is they're doing a job defensively, so it's getting them out in the open court. That's Devin Harris touching the ball, finds Terry in the corner, and continually. Here they come again. Quick with the ball. Swing the ball to Dirk Nitsky. He gets the jump shot. Nitsky with the outlet pass. That's Howard. He pulls up. Mavericks do look energized. Nowitzki once again, Harris with a neat pass to Jason Terry. That time it's Terry with the finish, Harris with the pass. The energy seems to be there. Yeah, you can sense a little bit of that freshness that Avery Johnson was hoping would be there after having a few days off. I don't know how anybody can adequately put into words the demanding schedule that the Mavericks uh, had gone through, you know, up through last Saturday. 16 games in the month of January, and then the first game of February, Saturday night on the 3rd. Harris is back in the game. Stackhouse has come in at the timeout. Jason Terry taking a seat on the bench. And the custodian, Brian Cardinal, in the game. And the game changes when he comes in. He's physical. He will get after you. Doesn't have the skill set at all that Miller has. And that's who he came in the game for, is Mike Miller. Chucky Atkins, Dante Jones, Alexander Johnson, who just went to the free throw line, Cardinal, and Gasol. That's the lineup for Memphis here. Johnson went one of two on his foul shots and is the leading Grizzly scorer with five. Stackhouse hits to get it started. And there's some lady over there with a camera taking pictures of the flash. Put that thing in your purse. It's a nine point lead now for yeah. the Mavericks. Bonus play. That's the first, first of all, it's their leader. Gasol, you said he'll take jump shots, and he certainly can step out and hit them, Bob. And with range, um, he's just a really good player. It's 18 or 19 feet, probably. Oh, yeah. So that might be the limit. I think so. He's got the occasional three. He's made two this year in seven attempts. And remember that Gasol has not played the whole year. This is his 27th game. That broken foot that he suffered in the FIBA World Championships in the summer kept him on the shelf until mid December. Offensive rebound, Dirk. And then knocked out of bounds by Memphis. 22 on the shot clock. Devin George missed, but Dirk got it back. Is it near? Does it seem, seem that Avery is substituting a lot here in the first quarter? Really juggling the lineup. I think uh, you got to keep a couple things in mind. It's a very difficult, very tough, very well coached game on Friday night, and it's a three game road trip next week before we all start. Oh, nice spin move and quick, finish. Yes. How about the quickness on that move? A 15 point first quarter. Post up move by Dirk Nowitzki. Boy, I mean, and, it was good. And Bob, excuse me, but just think of all the people that were worried that maybe he'd be like Samson with the haircut or something like that. Well, that's about as biblical as you're going to get right there. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Free throw, 16 points, Dirk with a three-point play. That's why I followed it with Holy Cow. That's biblical too, you know. Is it? Yes, it is. 33-23 <laughs> Dallas, minute 34 left in the first quarter. What a quarter for Dirk Nowitzki. Gee whiz, he's got 16 points, three rebounds, and an assist. How was the rest, Dirk? Does look different with the hair, doesn't he? Yes, he does. Trip to the free throw line here. Chucky Atkins will shoot two after a foul is called on Devin Harris. Who do you think cut it? Who do you think cut Nowitzki's hair? Um, well, it wasn't Eduardo Nahara. I know Nahara did that for him before a game in Memphis a while back. Oh, look at this. Look at some of these Dirk Nowitzki haircuts. For Team Germany. Oh wow, that uh, yeah, that may have been the Nahara that night in Memphis about four years ago. And then another buzz cut for Dirk. Amazing. <laughs> the Nowitzki hairstyles through the years. To answer your question, I don't know where he went to get his hair cut. I wonder if he paid for it. Guy didn't have to pay for anything, does he? Or maybe he went to Swindle's Barber Shop. That's where he went. 
Just take it a guess. I don't know. Stackhouse with it. That was a guess. Well, you asked. <laughs> And that was one time I had to violate your rule where you say don't guess because you lose all uh, credibility. That's about but what I was going to say. Everyone would have to be guessing on that situation. There's a lot of people that guess. And believe me, credibility goes right down the drain with a guess. <laughs> Inside out action, and it's Alexander Johnson being called for three seconds. He tried to kick it back out, and when he did. 57 seconds left in the first quarter with the turnover on Memphis. The three-second call on Alexander Johnson. Did Brad maybe give him the haircut, or did Brad and Dirk go together to the barber shop to get the haircut? Well, uh, Brad might have done that because it's two for one. And then, you know. <laughs> the boys' haircut. Jason Terry on the reverse. I think Brad still got a dollar and one cent of the first dollar he ever made. <laughs> oh, well put, Bobo. Well put. <laughs> Off the glass, Swift misses. Stromile checked in late in the first quarter. Dirk got the rebound. Mavericks run. Out of the corner. Stack out. And he nails the three. Boy, the Mavericks are cooking in the first quarter tonight. Shooting 67%. They put 38 on the board. And let me give credit to, uh, to Josh Howard for the pass to Stackhouse. It's an unselfish play. And here Howard started to run, but slowed it down, realizing that they could hold for the last shot. How about 40 points in the first quarter? What do you think, huh? Let's you make like it 41. That? Let's see a three. You're not going to see a three out of that guy right there because he's inside. And it's Nowitzki shooting to beat the buzzer, and he hit all seven shots he took in the first, and the Mavericks put a heck of an exclamation point on that quarter. I think that uh, as it relates to one quarter, Avery Johnson managed those four days really well. Yes, he did. Dirk goes seven for seven, four of four at the line, 18 points, and the Mavericks hammer the Grizzlies in the first quarter. 40 to 24, Dallas leads after one. Memphis comes into the house tonight. They get some early impressive dunks for this first quarter. Belong to Dallas. Josh Howard got him off to a nice start earlier, and then it was the Dirk show. The new do, and he was on fire as he scores 18. See a Texas State Farm agent for discounts up to 40% on auto insurance. Acura TSX. Acura Advance. Sunday, the rules will be broken. Iconic predators will fight for their lives. Threatened by outsiders, their environment, and arch enemies. Because even the invincible are vulnerable. On Planet Carnivore. Sunday, on the National Geographic Channel. Dare to explore. Every night, there's just one place to be. The best damn sports show, period. Come on in and be our guest for Sports Television's Nightly Party. The world's greatest late night sports show is just getting started. The best damn sports show, period, tonight on FSN. We're Southwest fans out first. FSN Southwest. Sports Ultimate Nightly Highlight Show is here. It's the FSN final score, and they'll have the lowdown on the Spurs Wizards game, plus North Carolina Duke, and more. Catch it tonight at 1030, right here on FSN Southwest. Hey, you know those young ladies? Do I? Yes. I know all four. You do? Yes. Really? Uh, so you, do you. Yeah, did you uh, leave the tickets for them tonight? No, I left two. You left the other two. <laughs> <laughs>
Those are our flight attendants. Yes, they are. Pal Gasol, hook shot to get the second quarter started for Memphis. Dallas leads by 16 at the start of the quarter, 14 now after the Grizzlies basket. Just a great opportunity for that man with the ball, DJ yeah. Benga. Made the pass, and as he did, off the ball, Devin George has whistled for an offensive foul. So Benga makes an appearance tonight in his 21st game of the year. He has only played in 66 minutes of hoop action in the first 20 games this year. Mark, let's pay attention here to uh, the fact that there's four guys off the bench in the ball game now, and they, they start the second quarter with a nice lead. Uh, the one starter remaining, Josh Howard. Let's see if, if this group is able to maintain that lead or increase it. Avery Johnson talked about that earlier today. Yeah, and, and talked about it in regards to are they deeper than last year's team. And he said, well, you know, I define quality depth as having people you can insert into the game and who can contribute both offensively and defensively, maintain the lead, or help it grow. Or if you're behind, they can help you make the comeback. Okay, now, if you remember... Josh Howard gave Stackhouse the ball, Stack hit the three. Stack gave Josh the ball that time, Josh gets the three. That's what this team's all about. Tremendous unselfishness, yes. and the Mavericks have carried four of five tonight. Beyond the arc, and a defensive play, Devin George. And the Mavericks attack again. Stackhouse to DJ. He'll shoot free throws. How about that veteran, the outstanding veteran, 12 years in the league. He's giving up the ball to the young player, Benga, inside. And that needs uh, to settle in with D.J. Benga. He needs to understand what just happened. If there wasn't some degree of confidence there, uh, Stackhouse wouldn't have given him the ball. And that, that's a compliment. And that's the way Benga must interpret that. Rudy Gay's third foul. The player averaging nine points in about 23 minutes a game will find himself on the bench with a... Uh, Foul trouble with the third foul picked up here early in the second. That opportunity at the offensive end of the floor for Benga was created by the double team on Gasol. He tries to throw the ball over the top, and Devin George is there. And then Stackhouse comes down, finds Benga inside, and Benga draws the foul. And DJ goes to the line. Made one out of two, his first missed free throw this year. Of course, he's only had six attempts now. Five out of six for the season on his foul shots, and Dallas has the 18-point lead. Here's Lawrence Rock, second year out of Mississippi State. He misses, and Howard soars in for the rebound. Lawrence Roberts actually started his collegiate career at Baylor and transferred to Mississippi State after two seasons in Waco. Devin George, and he rattles one home. It's a nice job keeping your dribble alive. Oh, there's a steal by Howard. You can see that coming. Steal by Dallas. Good anticipation by Josh Howard. And as David a, Stoudemire commits the foul. As a defender, if you're playing a team that likes to run, look to peel back. Look, because uh, they're going to look up the floor. Teams that like to run like to advance the ball. Phoenix is a great example of that. Uh, they'll do it on the dribble, uh, and they'll do it on the pass. And if you're alert looking for passes, you may be able to double back and get one. You may get two or three of those a game, and that's big. You get four or six points that way. A 16-3 Dallas run here, Bob, as the Mavericks have opened up a 20-point lead. And Devin George cuts to the basket. It's tipped out, though, by Memphis. Nine to shoot. Devin George saying, my fault. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's another thing about this Maverick team. Uh, uh, people accept responsibility for the consequences of their actions. Yes, where have I heard that saying before? <laughs> Sack out spit move. I don't know, but if you write down all the sayings I've given you in recent years, you'd have a book, man. I think that, and actually, that, that one's mine, Bob. I think what? that's, yes, that one's mine. I'm responsible for the consequences of my actions, and then you know my other one. Sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than permission. That's, that, that one is yours. <laughs> As uh, Avery Johnson and Laura Green look on there. Yes, they do. On the move, here's Damon Stoudemire. But Bob certainly has his fair share of platitudes that he's told me over the years as well. As Powell misses the jump shot. Let's not go into all of them. Let's not. Maybe Laura would like to chime in with some of those. Apparently not. Deep two. 
and he's fouled with 8.58 to play in the first half. It's the right play. Yep. DJ going to the rim. That's where you want to go. Hakeem Ward commits the foul. And the Grizzlies pick up their third team foul of the quarter. And Dallas rolling here early on in this game. And they have, Bob, extended the lead. With four bench guys in at the start of the quarter, they pushed it to a 20-point edge. You are now free to move about the country. Here in Texas, we're on the go. Texas has plenty of cool places to go. And your Texas Ford dealer has plenty of cool choices when it comes to the perfect way to explore the Lone Star State. And each is priced to save you plenty. Now get an Escape for only $249 a month, a new 2007 Explorer for just $299, or choose Expedition and save with monthly payments starting from $399. For plenty of cool choices, go buy your nearest Texas Ford dealer today. At the Gatorade Sports Science Institute, we test athletes in the lab. Because we know they'll be tested on the field. Gatorade, the most tested sports drink on the planet. When we get leads, we turn into the globe trotters offensively. All right, and then defensively, we lose all of our discipline. But sometime it gets, I don't know if it gets boring for us to keep doing what we did to get the lead. Uh, which is to be simple and solid, but uh, and then when they get scared and it's money time, it's good that they can come through, but it's sometimes dangerous. Avery Johnson with the Geico quote of the day. Let's see how the Mavericks handle this situation, Bob, where they have a 20 point lead. Well, so far, so good. I love what Avery Johnson had to say right there. I, I thought it was really well said, I thought his words were well chosen. And uh, he, he's not sure himself, but he's trying to, to figure that out. And uh, knowing A.J., he will figure it out. Well, Bob, I think that uh, Avery did make a very good point in speaking about it, though, in the pregame, that, you know, let's also give the other team some credit. It is hard to hold leads in this league. For example, if Avery's team is down 10, as Benga makes the free throws out of the timeout, by the way. If Avery's team is down 10 or 20 or 5 or whatever, he expects them, obviously, to be able to make a push and, and come back. So it's, you know, we talk about it all the time, and I know it seems incredibly simple that you say this about the NBA, but every team makes a run. As Howard scores on the break with a foul, and the Mavericks are at 50, and we got a long way to go still in this first half. You talk about offensive pressure. There's a great example of a defensive play being turned into offensive pressure. Defensive play at the other end, Mavericks in transition, Stackhouse making the right pass and a good pass and a good decision. All of it is good. And if, if there's any one relationship on this team that really is an indicative of Avery Johnson and how he manages and handles his players, it's what Avery Johnson has been able to accomplish with Stackhouse. Stack's willingness, there he is, making the defensive play. Picks up the foul, Dallas's second of the quarter. I'm convinced that all Stack cares about um, is a ring. He, he, he wants to, to get into the playoffs and back to the championship series. Avery Johnson echoed those sentiments in this last time out in terms of keeping things simple. He said, keep doing what got you to this point. Keep running for layups. No shortcuts. And in addition to what he talked about before the game, I asked Greg Buckner about the human nature aspect of letting up when you have such a big lead. He says it's just basketball nature because you're still winning games, but you have to understand that it will come back and bite you if you continue to think that you can flip the switch. The Basketball gods will get you, and Buck said that Avery Johnson reminded his team of that today, really talking to them about not taking shortcuts, not thinking they can just flip a switch, because when it comes playoff time, it's going to be more difficult to do that. And we're getting back to what we said earlier, Laura, and that's uh, you can flirt with disaster a little bit, but don't flirt with it too long. And to uh, clear up the previous foul situation, by the way, that uh, I inadvertently said it was on Stackhouse. That was uh, not a Dallas foul. It was a Memphis foul on Hakeem Ward, his second, and more importantly, the fifth team foul of the quarter against the Grizzlies. 
And you saw Stackhouse go to the other end and hit one of two. So Dallas doubling up the Grizzlies at 52-26. Look at the double team on Gasol to get the ball out of his hands. And he throws it away. Devin George. Good job by Anthony Johnson and DJ Benga. They tried to get it to DJ and the deflected pass almost went off the backboard. And then Howard is called for a foul. Third team foul. Dallas uh, Howard with his second. 7.48 left second quarter. Brian Cardinal going back into the game for Memphis. One of the things a big guy has to learn in this league when he's good at scoring, they're going to double team him. He has to learn to pass out of the double team. By the way, that is something that Dirk Nowitzki has learned to do very well. And Gasol is going to have to learn to do that a little bit better. Now his teammates have to help him with the proper cuts and the proper bail. He's fouled Gasol is and will shoot free throws. Well, you would think that Gasol would be in position to be a fair passer out of double teams, Bob, because he's got the size advantage at seven feet tall. Right. Um, one of the things that has to happen if a guy is going to pass effectively out of a double team, players have a tendency to run toward a double team, and you don't do that. You space the floor. You, got, you have to have three of the guys go to bailout positions, and one guy makes a dive cut to the basket. Um, that's what those four guys should do. Those bailout positions are, are predetermined. And Gasol knows where they are if it's really, you know, a, a club that's uh, on top of their game. And you know where those bailout guys are, and you can throw. You can almost throw to a spot, not necessarily a player. Because you know he'll be there. Now, that's the kind of confidence that the Maverick players have in one another. They know where their bail, bailout spots are. And I think the thing with Dirk, you know, in, in, in talking about a big guy, obviously, who can score the ball and get double teamed, what I've noticed has been the difference this year with Dirk is he's passing quickly. Well, you should pass when, when you see the second defender coming your way. Oh my, actually missed one. And by the way, uh, Memphis has gone to his own defense. Yes. Stackhouse shoots over it, misses everything. So Dirk made his first seven shots and then finally missed one. And then Mike Miller drives. The soul tips it in. have already led by 26 points tonight. They're up by 23 with seven minutes to play in the first half. Mavericks have to solve this, uh, this zone defense. Dirk cuts to the basket. Stackhouse with the fine and on the up and under. Nowitzki is at 20 points. Stackhouse just an excellent job passing the ball. And look at Dirk with the season high for points in a quarter. The 18 that he scored tonight in the first. He had 16 in the fourth quarter last week at Memphis. As that pass goes through Powell's hands and out of bounds. You see Dirk with some words of encouragement. Stackhouse here. Watch, watch. He, number one, fights to get the ball back. Nowitzki makes the back cut. Nice little bounce pass. Uh, that's where a bounce pass should be used in close quarters. Whoa. That was a pass, by the way. Yes, it was. Much like Stoudemire had the alley-oop pass that went in for a three-pointer in the first quarter. That Mike Miller pass was off the mark, but actually caught rim. Oh, nice give and go. See, Anthony Johnson to the hoop, scores the third. I, I don't know that Gasol can make that pass yet. Now, that was not a double team. Uh, but uh, there probably would have been a second defender headed to dirt. But that's what happens when you make the pass early. Ryan Cardinal will feed Gasol. And now here comes the double. Yep, there's the double team. Now, Honroy, a rookie, swings it to Mike Miller, and he buries a three. Now, that's what I was talking about. See, Miller was in the bailout spot, and you have to know where those shooters are. The soul made the pass. It's usually out of a double team, usually the second pass that results in the good look. Bob, I think you got to be pleased with what Benka's doing so far here in getting some extended run. Dampier hurt tonight. I agree. I think Mangus doing a pretty good job. Again, nothing big with Dampier. Just a sore right knee, very precautionary. He actually worked out before the game tonight. If it's a playoff game, it might be something we're not even talking about. As Powell is fouled here with 5.22 to go in the second. The call is on Benga for his second foul. Oh, we've seen Dallas do some marvelous things on offense tonight. They have 17 assists on 20 baskets. There was one of them. 
Give and go. Anthony Johnson. Dirk Nowitzki. Let's see it again. Johnson to the hoop. He lays it in. Dallas up 24. For 30 straight years, we've been America's best-selling truck. But we won't celebrate with fireworks or party hats because this is about you, not us. It's about giving you the truck you need, the truck that gets the job done. It's how we build them. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Ford Trucks. Built. Ford Tough. Now get a Texas Edition F-150 Super Cab for only $249 a month at your Texas Ford dealer. Home of the best in Texas. Kate, I think about you all day long. Norbert and Kate were childhood sweethearts. But someone... What's that? ...is about to come between them. <laughs> This Friday, love hurts. You still feel like dancing, Norbert? Eddie Murphy. Run for your life! Norbit. Rated PG-13. Starts this Friday only in theaters. The team record is 16. And 16 is what Dallas is gunning for tonight. They lead 56-32. With 5.22 left in the second quarter. Dirk has 20 tonight. He scored 18 in the first quarter after he had 18 in the whole game against Minnesota here on Saturday night. The game Dallas won 94-92. But we've seen Dirk do things like that throughout his career. Oh, yeah. You know, um, 18 is less than what he normally gets, but you know, the Mavericks get the win, and he does other things in, in situations like that. He rebounds. He gets assists. Just contributes in so many different ways, and uh, this year more than ever, contributing in the area of, uh, of leadership as a result, I think, of maturity. Last week against Dallas, Gasol was four of 17 from the floor for 13 points. You see, tonight he already has 13 and is five of seven. So what the Mavericks can do against the zone. Johnson got a little. And you attack it quickly. You get in there against the zone and guys start going to the basket. They'll be open. Because you're freezing the guys in the back of the zone. Avery Johnson clapping on the sidelines because he went over that in the timeout along with the fact that they have stopped pushing the ball as much as he would like. He was very happy with the pace earlier in the game, but he says the pace has slowed down. You must continue to push the ball. You know what happens, Laura, sometimes... The pace gets slowed down for the team that really wants to push it because of the zone, which is why you've got to get into the middle of the zone with the pass or the dribble. Johnson's the one that did it. Nowitzki's the one that benefited from the fact that Anthony was able to get in there. But zones sometimes cause offenses to be a little bit more hesitant, take a little bit more time, and that slows the game down. Dirk just got another rebound, Bob. That is his fifth of the night, and he's going to go to the hoop. And will he get the bounce? No. By the way, DJ Benga had to go back in the game after Jot just got his third foul. Gasol did not complete the three-point play. And DJ's loving that, isn't he? Benga's played seven minutes tonight, three points, two rebounds, two fouls. And I think he's defending in that situation. He defended Powell pretty well, Bob. Yes, he did. Let's see what he does here. Stayed down on the pump fake. There was the double. And now the Grizzlies have just two on the shot clock. Jop looks on with three fouls and a starting roll tonight. He's played just nine minutes. Sore right knee for Damp. Again, very precautionary. Rimming out of three, Gasol had to take it with the shot clock ticking away. Long pass to Terry for Dirk. Anthony Johnson, Jason Terry, Greg Buckner, Dirk, and DJ on the floor. Benga gives Dirk the down screen, and another one goes in. Oh, man. If I had known this, we would send him to the barber a long time ago. <laughs> he might get 40 tonight. 24 tonight for Dirk. Does that count for Gasol? Yep. 340 left in the first half. That's Benga's third. I thought Anthony Johnson played well. Did a good job defensively. Nice pass yeah. to Dirk for a dunk. Yeah, made a couple nice passes. Sometimes it's not always the pass that leads to a basket, but sometimes it's the first pass um, prior to the assist pass. That was Benga's third foul, but Gasol does not complete the three-point play. 
DJ with the rebound. Bengals got four rebounds with Avery Johnson like that. Three points as well. Seven on the shot clock. Pass to Buckner. Able to haul it in. Nice step back. Nice step back there. Missed it over Alexander Johnson. Dante Jones out of two. Yeah, everybody's defending. Everybody's defending for Dallas like it was a tight game right now. And it's another dirt rebound off the missed shot inside by Johnson. Mavericks have 18 fast break points tonight. We won't get any on this trip down the floor. Dirk slipped the pick as Terry drove. Throws and hits. He said the little guy can't post up and score. 62 points. Oh, my, Dante Jones. Goodness gracious. The foul is on Banga here. I don't think he was there. I thought that was the right call. He was trying to get there. Yeah, that was a demolition derby. Dante Jones. He was close. DJ was trying to get there to draw that charge. His body was turned. Turn, turn a yep. little bit. You're not going to get it when you turn that body. You want to take it in your chest. Recently, Car and Driver invited 600 of its readers to compare three cars in performance, handling, and styling. So who won? Camry? Accord? Actually, the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion came in first. Check it out yourself. Visit your Texas Ford dealer or go to FusionChallenge.com. Now just sign and drive off. With zero down, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing, lease a Ford Fusion for only $249 a month. Take the Fusion Challenge today. Going to an NBA game and don't know what to wear? Oh, do you want to show everyone who your favorite team is? This is an excitement event. If so, you're in luck because we've got the widest selection of jackets, pants, sweatshirts, headwear, and much more. Yes. On its feet. Log on to NBAstore.com anytime 24-7 and be all NBA from head to toe. NBAstore.com, we got it all. One store, every team. Experience giddy uppers. Explore precision steelology. Embrace safety all overness. Introducing a new kind of crossover vehicle, the highly enlightened Kia Rondo. Welcome to Rondoism. Abenga just picked up his fourth foul. But Dallas has a 24 lead, 24 point lead, that is, here in the second quarter. The only place with complete postgame coverage of tonight's Mavs Grizzlies game is right here on FSN Southwest with John Radigan, Dana Larson, Darvin Ham, and Emily Jones on Mavs Live. It's immediately following the game. Well, Bengal will go to the bench with four fouls. Remember, uh, damp here, sore right knee. Not a big deal at all, but he, he's not dressed tonight. So Crozier will get some time here. Because you've got John with three fouls, you've got Bengal with four fouls. You can play Dirk at the five and put Crozier in the game with Harris, Terry, and Buckner. You can also play uh, Crozier at the five, yeah, I guess. You can play Crozier at the five, too. And depending upon, you know, Dirk doesn't have any fouls, so you're okay there. We'll see how Avery Johnson decides to go. I don't know that it makes a lot of difference because you're trying to double team the Saul anyway, and, and he's such a fine player. He, he's really a good basketball player. I'm not sure uh, what we're seeing how good he is because he's played on teams that have struggled. We saw him in here one night I don't know, a couple years ago with Hubie Brown as head yeah. coach. What he had 36. 36. Up here. Yep. I think Fratello. That, that was uh, Fratello, Bob. Was it? Yeah, that was under the Fratello's coaching last year as a matter of fact and remember this Memphis team has had a run of three straight trips to the playoffs now they've been swept every time but they've won 50 44 and 49 games in each of the past three seasons but you talk about one of the important things in this league and that's the health of your big guys the health of your and I don't mean big figure stars correct and Paul Gasol is the star of this Memphis team and a broken foot and maybe the team being demoralized by getting bounced in yet another sweep of the first round last year, and then they just came out of the gate and had a terrible start. 
And that's why they have the worst record in the league, 12 and 37. Some teams have difficulty recovering from starts like that, even when they get the good player or good players back. Uh, they're, they're so demoralized by that time that it's hard for them to play with confidence. Alexander Johnson on the reverse. That was nice. Yes, it was. We've seen him do some nice things off the bench tonight. The rookie out of Florida State has seven. Mavs have led by as many as 27. The lead right now stands at 21. Mavis moving it quickly against the zone. Dirk. Nice bullet pass to Crozier, but he doesn't get the finish. Charles would love to have that one back. That's just an excellent pass by Nowitzki. And Charles just missed the pass, so he could have made it. Oh, blocked by Dirk, but then it pinballs off Devin Harris, and Alexander Johnson was fouled. Well, Nowitzki got a nice block. But a bad bounce off Harris prevented Dallas from getting that ball. An offensive player getting all those points. Gets a block shot right there. Nowitzki's defense so much improved. When, you, when guys go in there, especially little guys, uh, they're going to get some hard fouls because players are not going to give up easy shots. That was not a good-looking free throw. There have been a lot of those. Uh, did you see that? Scud missile that Dante Jones put up on his trip to the line last time that barely caught the front rim and you see the poor Performance by the Grizzlies tonight at the line with that make by Johnson. They're now shooting 50% for the game Last 90 seconds of the first half Dallas in front by 20 With 24 tonight from Dirk to lead the way that's where the Mavericks are trying to get it, into the middle of that zone. Because you can, uh, oh, there's a foul. By Buckner. Mavs turn it over. That's four committed by Dallas tonight compared to ten Memphis turnovers. If you're Memphis, what they have to look at uh, is just one possession at a time. And they need stops, and uh, they can only catch up a, a free throw, a basket, or a three-pointer at a time. They, 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 you, can't, you can't panic. There's a good guy to go to right there. There's a double team again. The long pass to Dante Jones. He drove and scored. No worse for wear, it seems, from that uh, collision in the DJ earlier. That time, uh, just all double team, he's able to find the open man. And it's possible that that open man was where he was supposed to be that time. You don't crowd the double team, space the floor, and go to your your, your spot ups and your bailout positions. That's the same. Both both terms are applicable there. All right. So when that sound bite, that Geico quote we played earlier from Avery when he talks about some of the lost leads. Now, granted, there's still a whole lot more lead left to lose, but Dallas has lost 10 points off a 27-point edge earlier this quarter. That's correct. Have they uh, have they lost their discipline on defense like Avery talked about, or have they become the Globetrotters on offense? <laughs> That's a good question. It's a little it's a little bit of both. And uh, remember what you said to follow that up. You got to give some credit to the other team sometime sure. in this league. You're just not going to shut them out all the way, but. Um, it, it'll give Avery Johnson there's a defensive play again this one by Devin George and especially when you're talking about a team like the Memphis Grizzlies worst record in the league is Dallas gets a steal they ha so they, they already have nothing to play for when they have the worst mark in the league when they get behind by 20 something in the second quarter boy they can really let loose them Harris with it eight seconds left in the quarter no foul to give it goes to Dirk he makes the pass, Stackhouse to beat the buzzer, and he throws a four three. And that'll get the lead back to 20. And Dante Jones misses wide right. One half in the books. Dirk leading the way with 24. Gasol led Memphis with 17. The Dallas is on top. They shoot 60%, and they have one of their highest scoring halves of the year Dirk with another pass Sackhouse spotting up his favorite place to shoot threes is out of the corner he heaves it and switches it with 1.1 left at a half and it is Dallas's fifth three-pointer of the first half it puts him up by 20 at the break and stick around for the halftime show as it will be Rick Renner with the Toyota truck game break with scores and highlights from around the league it's bigger in Texas and better in a Dodge.
When there's work to do, you need a truck that can handle the pressure. That's why the truck stops here. There's Ram Heavy Duty and Ram Mega Cab with the available legendary Cummins Turbo Diesel. Get up to $3,000 cash allowance on Ram Heavy Duty, part of the longest lasting, most durable line of full size pickups. You don't think about stress when you find the Dodge truck you need at the Texas Truck Stop, your Texas Dodge dealer, or online at TexasTruckStop.com. I bought an extra long cheese cone. Yeah, I'm huh? pretty excited. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? I'm outsmarting this thing. You gotta eat it from the outside. That's exactly where they expect you to eat it. That's where all their defenses are. Mmm, that's nice. You have a little bit of chili right mm. here. Just a, right there. There you, you get go. It? Yep. Coney and Tots. Sonic's got it, others don't. Grab a classic extra long chili cheese Coney and Tots for just $2.99. And pay the Sonic way. Swipe your credit or my Sonic card from your car. We're here at Bruce Rossmeyer's Destination Daytona, home to one of the largest motorcycle dealerships in the world. Let's go talk with some new owners. So I see you just bought this great bike. Man, is it sweet. I can't wait to ride it. So have you thought about insurance? Of course. My new friend hooked me up. He's great. You know, he saves people money on motorcycle insurance, and he's always around to help. Geico Motorcycle. Let's ride. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Outlander. Out everything. Everything. I was walking down the street. I saw a poster. Daytona 500 returns to Fox this February. This Sunday, brutal fights, bloodshed, and drug trafficking. This is life in a maximum security prison. But in this prison, the inmates aren't men, they're women, violent and ruthless. This is their world. Lockdown, Women Behind Bars, premieres Sunday. Check your local listings for the National Geographic Channel. Dare to explore. in studios for your Toyota truck game break. I'm Rick Renner. We'll get you back out to the American Airlines Center for second half action of your Mavericks game in just a moment. But first, check this out. you got to look at this. The Mavericks, never shy in promoting one of their own, and they shouldn't have to because he's a lot. The Mavericks have started an MVP campaign on MySpace.com for Dirk Nowitzki. Check it out on MySpace.com slash official underscore Dirk for MVP. You can go to DallasMavericks.com to get there as well. It's a must-see for the Mavericks fans. we got to get the word out. We don't want Steve Nash winning that thing again. Check it out. Time now for a quick break, but hang on. We'll have more from our FSN studios in a pair. When you need your truck to work as hard as you do and play even harder, there's no room for second guesses. Toyota Tacoma, legendary for rugged dependability. And with your choice on how to save, there's no second-guessing Toyota value. Now pocket 750 cash back when you buy a new 2007 Tacoma or lease a new 07 Tacoma double cab for $259 a month for 36 months with $1599 due. Hurry, these big deals won't last long at your Toyota dealer. Introducing the AT&T Unity Plan. Subscribe to AT&T Unity and call 100 million AT&T business, home, and singular wireless customers for free. The AT&T Unity Plan. It's the largest free calling community on the planet. Singular is now the new AT&T. Your world delivered. Hey, that's right, party boy. It's 2.30. 
2007 and you need to make some resolutions because it's a whole new year and it is the same old you. You need to get up. You need to get to the gym and you need to get rid of that little nasty gut you've been working on and maybe lift something that weighs more than 12 ounces. Please, I saw you last night. Get a personal trainer and lose up to 10 pounds in five weeks for 55 bucks. Only at 24 Hour Fitness. All night pet store. Got the idea from Jack. He says you got to offer your customers anything, anytime. No sleeping. A Jack in the box that might mean a burger for breakfast or French toast sticks at midnight. For me, it might be a poodle at 2 a.m. Are you a laundromat? No. Need a hamster? Order anything on the menu, anytime. From the guy who wrote the book. The best damn sports show, period. Sports television's nightly party. Tonight on FSN. Aaron sells more high-definition widescreen TVs than just about anybody else in America. It's the sign of a great deal. Aaron's has the widescreen and LCD flat panel TVs that everybody wants, all at the price everybody wants, the guaranteed lowest price. Aaron's also sells brand new, brand name furniture, appliances, and computers at the guaranteed lowest price. No credit check and the most flexible payment plans. So picture yourself getting your next TV at Aaron's. Do the math. Nobody beats Aaron's. This is your Mavericks Jack in the Box halftime report. And welcome back to your Jack in the Box halftime report. Bob and Mark will have first half stats in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the upcoming games for your Dallas Mavericks. One more at home with the Houston Rockets on Friday. And then it's off to the Wild East yonder at Philadelphia in an early evening Sunday start on FSN Southwest. Then at Milwaukee on Tuesday at H-Town a week from tomorrow. Then the All-Star break in Viva Lost Wages. For ticket information on that Rockets game or any home game, go to DallasMavericks.com. Time now to get you back out to the American Airlines Center for second half action between your Mavericks and the Memphis Grizz. Don't forget, we'll see you after the game right here on FSN. Join Dana, John Darvin, and Emily Jones for complete post-game coverage. Dennis Ott is moving on with life. A heart attack nearly brought it to a halt. An angioplasty and stent from Baylor gave him a second chance. Never stop. Pioneering medicine applied to you. So, 12 o'clock tea time, someone rear-ends us. Day shot, right? Except I just switched to Progressive Direct Online. They gave me a couple of competitive prices. I pick Progressive and save 400 bucks a year. And I've been trying to tell these guys I also get their concierge service. So I drop off my car, pick up a rental, and we're gone. So I save 400 bucks and our tea time. Fantastic. Progressive Direct. It's about you. And it's about time. Sign up online and save 50 bucks. If we take away its racing heritage, its VTEC engine and hyper-responsive drive-by-wire throttle system, if we were to omit the quiet ride and the attention to detail, you'd be left with one undeniable truth. One of the best cars on the planet has just left the building. The Accord from Honda. Lease a Honda Accord for $199 a month for well-qualified customers. Pay $299.99 for a 100% wool suit like this at a department store. Or K&G, look just as stylish for only $99.99. K&G, for men, for women, for less. Sue Cody says life can take strange turns. Throat cancer threatened to turn her life upside down. Advanced treatments at Baylor silence the cancer. Beyond words. Pioneering medicine applied to you. Want to get away? Now you can. Fly Southwest Airlines nonstop from Dallas Love Field to Houston Hobby, Little Rock, Lubbock, Midland, Odessa, Oklahoma City, San Antonio, or Tulsa for just $49 one way. You are now.
now for you to move about the country. This copyrighted telecast of the National Basketball Association may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any other form without the express written consent of the NBA. The Dallas Mavericks on FSN Southwest are brought to you by Whataburger, just like you like it. By Dodge, grab life by the horns. By Geico, call 1-800-947-AUTO or visit geico.com. By Sonic, it's not just good, it's Sonic good. And by Southwest Kia, if we can't beat the deal, we'll give it to you. I think that guy is uh, displaying the steps that Bob taught him. The dancing trombone man, 20-point lead, Dallas over Memphis at the half, and Dirk Nowitzki a big part of it in the first half, obviously, Bob. Oh, but the, but the, the key here is uh, passing the basketball. And I think mean, guys were just finding the open man time and time again. Harris to Jason Terry. Harris with the ball again. This time he finds Nowitzki on the left side. Harris with the ball. How about that bounce pass to Jason Terry and the finish. Terry finds Nowitzki at the elbow. Time and time again. Look at that pass by Buckner. That's outstanding. That's a spin lob. That's what that play is. A backdoor cut by Nowitzki. Anthony Johnson with the pass. A post pass. And Johnson goes to the basket. Nowitzki gives it back to him. Johnson again to Nowitzki. Holy cow. Time and time again. Guys finding the open man. And this, this, what's up with this guy? <laughs> I was hoping you would tell me. Don't you play the trombone? Uh, I used to. And well, don't you dance like that? Well, yeah, right. <laughs> we can do it together. 20-point <laughs> lead for the Mavs at half. We're America's largest refiner. And some of the vehicles we fuel don't travel on roads. For those that do, we make some of the cleanest gasoline on the planet. And every drop is performance guaranteed. And our employees contribute over 200,000 hours a year in our communities. We know you probably don't think about these things when you think of Valero. That's okay. Just as long as when you do think of us, you think of this. Valero. The energy to take you anywhere. See ya in a Southwest Kia. Why buy used when you can buy new for less? Hi folks, I'm Bill Dickinson with Southwest Kia I-20 at Southampton. Well, you can drive a brand new Kia Rio for only $7,900. And it comes with a free 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Want a little more? How about no payments for six months? And remember, if I can't beat a new car Kia deal in Texas, I'm just going to give it to you. Visit us at our second location at Northwest Highway between 635 and Jupiter. shaken hands yet. We've never chatted at a party. Our kids play different sports. But I can honestly say, without ever having met you, I'll help save your life. When you help the American Red Cross, you help America. Tonight on the FSN Final Score, presented by DirecTV. The Blue Devils and Tar Heels go toe-to-toe -to -toe on Tobacco Road, renewing one of College Hoops' greatest rivalries. And after a long layoff, Tim Duncan and the Spurs travel to D.C. to take on Agent Zero and the Wizards. Plus, the surprising USC Trojans head into Poly, looking to knock off the rival UCLA Bruins. All that and more tonight on the FSN Final Score. Start the third quarter. Tony.
Tony Peroni with some instructions before his team takes the floor. With Dallas out in front of the Memphis Grizzlies. The score 65-54. Mavericks lead it as they look for a franchise record tying 16 straight home victory. Before the third quarter starts a report from Laura Green. Laura? Mark, and talking to assistant coach Del Harris, they want to do a better job on the goal. They really want to deny him the ball more. Expect to see Dirk Nowitzki on him a bit more in the second half. They also want to make sure that they pick up Mike Miller in transition. On the offensive end, they really feel like the Grizzlies zone hurt them, so they want to do a better job of getting the ball inside. We'll see how well they function in that regard as we get ready to start the third quarter. Gasol did have 17 in the first half. But there's your scoring leader for the two sides tonight. Dirk Nowitzki with his back to you. 24 points, 10 of 12 from the floor, six boards, four assists. Above the rim, brought to you by Progressive. Alexander Johnson threw it down with authority a couple of times in the first half, Bob. Boy, I guess he did. Look at this move here. And he misses and gets it back. He misses and takes it right over the top of Jump. He's a strong guy and very, very explosive. In, in my game prep uh, for Memphis, Alexander Johnson out of Florida State, 45th by Indiana. Um, he is a rookie. It says, long arms, strong body, leaper, in the paint guy. Yep. Did you just see that? Yes, that's, that's in the paint. That is right on, let me tell you. Six points, four rebounds a game. And 34 appearances for Alexander Johnson this year. And he was on tonight's progressive above the rim. Third quarter starts. Dallas has their five starters for tonight's game. Terry, Harris, Howard, Dirk, and Chop. Dan Pierce setting tonight for precautionary reasons with a sore right knee. Now, if Memphis, uh, they are playing the zone again, and I think that's a good decision by Tony Baroni because it slows the game down. See what it does to the Mavericks? They don't operate quite as quickly against that as they do against the man-to-man. -man. Howard gives it up to Terry. Three-pointer. And Dallas got stuck in the rut, Bob, of probably firing up too many threes against his own defense in the Minnesota game on Saturday night, and that was reflected in the fact that they went 5 for 26 from long distance against the Timberwolves the other night. Now, tonight it's an entirely different story. They're 5 for 8. Ah. Yeah, I guess. Uh, there's, there's a huge difference right yeah. there. But now, if, if this is a slow start for Dallas to start the second half here, that guy right there... His head won't be in his hand very long because he'll be taking a timeout. Yep. A little, a little grin out of Avery Johnson right there. A foul here by on the job. That's his fourth. And so Dallas will go small here. Devin George will go in the game for him. Devin George for Jones for a job. Tough luck for Ghana getting in foul trouble tonight because Jock really had a chance to play a lot of minutes uh, and press his head coach. And obviously, Avery wants him around for the fourth period. He's getting getting him out of there right now, and that that certainly is is the right move. And see who takes uh, Gasol the next time down the floor. See that zone, Howard for three, and and once again jumps that other guy to try to get inside that thing. Mark, uh, you either do it with dribble penetration or penetration with the pass deflection. And a foul on Harris. Harris with his third. Dallas with his third. Two team fouls here early on in the third. A basket here and a timeout. You think? I wouldn't be surprised uh, if, if not here. If there's another one, there'll be a timeout. Stoudemire fouled. Devin George, a shooting foul, his third and the third of the quarter. At the top of the show, when we opened the show, we talked about uh, Stoudemire in the starting lineups and his ability to go left. That's exactly where well, he went. On that dribble penetration, he loves to go that way. He'll start right, but he'll always finish uh, probably 80, 85% of the time coming back to his left. Missed the first two. Stoudemire's a very good free throw shooter. Just over 80%. Coming up on tonight's Dodge Texas Truck Stop, we ask Devin Harris who his toughest teammate is. Stoudemire played his 800th NBA game last night against the Houston Rockets. He's averaged just over 14 points, 
and about six and a half assists for a career that has taken him to Toronto, Portland, and now Memphis. His second season with the Grizzlies. Five straight for Memphis to start out the third quarter. Terry drives, kicks, Harris drives, and is fouled. That's on the floor. That's what happens when you drive the ball. When you, when you don't settle for jump shots all the time against the zone, you're going to draw some fouls. If you draw enough of those, pretty soon you're shooting the penalty. Shot clock at 14. 14. Post up for Dirk. Out of the double. Harris, then Howard, then Terry. Dirk on the offside gets it back for the Mavericks. And he'll take it to the hoop. May have been blocked. Stoudemire comes away with it. You might see a timeout here. They score without. They do with a foul. 9.53 to play in the third, and the Grizzlies have scored the first seven points in the third quarter and can make it eight. In this league. Yep. It's because everybody has shots start falling and and you're not doing the things um, that you were doing to build the lead all of a sudden the lead begins to dwindle and that's what's happened here the Grizzlies have made this a 13 point game and could get to within 12 Stackhouse subbed in for Harris and there's the timeout you knew that was coming yep Eight straight for the Grizzlies to start out the third quarter and after a three-point play by Stoudemire. Timeout taken by Dallas. It's a 65-53 lead for the Mavericks at home on FSN Southwest. Oh. Want to get away? Now you can. Fly Southwest Airlines nonstop from Dallas, Love Field, to Houston Hobby, Little Rock, Lubbock, Midland, Odessa, Oklahoma City, San Antonio, or Tulsa for just $49 one way. You are now free to move about the country. You're really starting to freak me out. The story goes that he'll be normal during the day, but at night, in the presence of evil, the rider takes over. Blackheart's coming and you have the power he needs. That's right. On February 16th, his curse. You deserve a second chance. His power. Something burning? Ghost Rider. Rated PG-13. TSX. Acura. Advance. Gary Stackhouse. Anybody who goes on Shaq and takes him on the lift to tell about it, he's got to be the toughest guy. Tonight's Dodge Texas Truck Stop feature brought to you by Dodge, your Texas truck stop. All right, let's see how the Mavericks adjust out of this timeout. You see Jerry Stackhouse. He went into the game before the Stoudemire free throw to complete the three-point play, but after that, Avery took the timeout. Stack went in for Harris. He's the leading bench scorer with nine. And we'll see how the Mavs adjust, Bob. Well, I would think that uh, certainly Memphis is going to stay in the zone because uh, the zone has had a lot to do with slowing the Mavericks down and turning the game around slightly. Not completely around yet, but it has it, it has been impactful. And there's Stackhouse trying to find Howard on a back cut and a throwaway. But that tells you where they wanted to go with it. They were definitely going inside against the zone. Body language, uh, the coaches talk about players' body language all the time. Let me tell you something. Body language is uh, something to watch, too, out of coaches. Roberts. Lays it in. It's a 10-point game. Look at that. This is 10 straight for Memphis to start the third quarter. Dirk. 
with a spin move, and he goes to Stackhouse. George for three. Howard trying to tip it home, got it back. Oh, missed again on the chippy. Great effort inside the Howard. Man. Really a good job, nice hands. Worked hard in there. Mavericks are 0 for 7 here in the third quarter. They need a basket to fall here to break the crowd. Gasol passed up the jump shot. And the rookie, Rudy K buries one. And another timeout at 20. This is 12 in a row for Memphis to start the third quarter. That's why I, I say and I really believe the score is 0-0 zero, zero when you start the second half. It, 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 it just happens. It just, you have built a big lead at home and you played so very, very well. And now you can see concern on, on the faces of the Mavericks right now. Stackhouse talking to Howard. Dirk Nowitzki walking out, head down. They've got to get inside that zone, and if they're going to get jump shots, they've got to get them inside out. Not throwing the ball around the perimeter, and then shooting up the shot. That yep. works once in a while, but that's not the best form. Again, I go back to what Avery said before the game, and he said, you know, this team, when they do get their leads, sometimes loses their discipline on defense and acts like the Globetrotters on offense, but then when they get scared, they have the ability to buckle down and do the things that originally built the lead. You might want to get scared and get scared now because you don't want to, All Memphis is doing is growing in confidence and, uh, you know, starting to become a little bit more freewheeling. And they've got that wild card factor of what in the heck do they have to play for to begin with? They have nothing to lose. Yeah. Lawrence Roberts has it slapped away by Dirk. How about that defensive play? I just need more of those and more in pressure. No, I mean, no offensive pressure. That's exactly what there you go. They're taking it to the basket, but Gasol turns him away with a block. And Powell does average about two blocks a game. Look at the dirt, slap it away. Wow. If it's that loud, that's a that's good move there. Oh, Howard doesn't get the finish. Dirk will go to the line. You get goaltending there? No, I don't think so. That was on Lawrence Roberts, and so finally Dallas can break the drought here. They have not scored in the third quarter. By getting back to the free throw line, by getting the ball inside. The quarter just over four minutes old, and Dirk at the line for two, with Lawrence Roberts picking up this foul, number two. That was close. I'm not so sure that wasn't goaltender. No. Let's take another look at that. That ball's on the way down. That ball is definitely on the way down. But anyway, a couple of free throws for Dirk. Didn't get the first one to go, but he comes right back and gets the second one. And the Mavericks having an uncharacteristically off night of the foul line. 13 of 19 for 68%. You look at their last 10 games, and they are shooting over 87% on free throws in that stretch. The slow on the tough hook shot. And George up to Stackhouse. Mavericks attack, and Terry takes it in on Mike Miller and misses as Miller got a piece of it. The Grizzlies run the other way. Stoudemire over Dirk for three. Howard there for the rebound. And see, when you get a few stops, you can get out in the open court, and then the zone's not effective because they can't get back and set it up. First thing you do against the zone is try to beat it back. Second thing you do is meaningful and purposeful movement of the ball and the personnel. The third thing you do is offensive rebound. And Howard is the first Maverick basket of the third quarter. And then Mike Miller stepped out of bounds. Well, what's changed the game here is a little a little bit of defense. So, Some stops. Yeah, a couple stops, and then you get in transition. They should push it here. Even after Memphis scores, Maverick should push it because now you see the whole thing slows down. As the Mavericks read the zone, try to go inside. Some of that certainly is understandable. Stackhouse? Nope. Alexander Johnson, the rebound. This game was a 27-point lead at one point for Dallas in the second quarter. But Gasol jams it. And back to a nine-point game. Memphis got to within eight. The Mavs lead is nine. Against a Grizzlies team that comes in with a record of 12 wins and 37 losses. Terry from Dirk. Miller with the rebound. 
Mavericks have gone 0 for 4 on three quarters this quarter, and Miller's going to take it in on Stackhouse. Misses the scoop, but it's tipped home. And the tip in was by Miller as well to give him eight points tonight. Look at that. You got a seven point ball game. It was a 27 point ball game. 16 3 here in the third quarter before the Howard basket. Every basket right now for Dallas is, is just huge trying to get back some momentum. Time out taken by Tony Baroni and the Memphis Grizzlies. And boy, they have flipped the scripts here in the third quarter. 5.52 left. The Grizzlies got to within a seven. Here's Howard taking it to the hoop. He scores it off the glass. Let's look at it again. On the drive, Howard scores. Memphis takes time. Dallas up nine. Texas has plenty of cool places to go. And your Texas Ford dealer has plenty of cool choices when it comes to the perfect way to explore the Lone Star State. And each is priced to save you plenty. Now get an Escape for only $249 a month, a new 2007 Explorer for just $299, or choose Expedition and save with monthly payments starting from $399. For plenty of cool choices, go buy your nearest Texas Ford dealer today. Introducing Pick Your Plan from TXU Energy, offering different plans for different needs. Can I get a plan that saves me money now and provides long-term price protection? Yes. Can we get a plan that lets us do something good for the environment? Without paying more to do it. Yes. Can I get savings even on a month-to-month -month plan? Yes. Pick your plan today and you could also receive a $25 upgrade bonus. Visit TXU.com or call 1-866-YOUR-TXU. Spend your Saturday with FSN Southwest for a triple shot of Big 12 Women's College Basketball. It all starts at 1 when the Sooners pay a visit to College Station for a battle with the Aggies. Then at 3, two Big 12 North Powers collide when Nebraska heads to the mountains for a showdown with the Buffs. And at 5, the Longhorns and Jayhawks go head-to-head -head at the Frank Irwin Center in Austin. It's a full day of hoops action on your home for Big 12 basketball this Saturday. Mavericks up by nine, 5.52 remaining in the third quarter. Memphis has chewed up two-thirds, basically, of a 27-point Dallas second quarter lead. Coming into this game tonight, you expected good things to happen for Dallas because, as we look at the Southwest standings, the Mavericks have by far the longest active winning streak against sub-500 teams in the league, 21 straight. Their last loss to a below-500 team was on November 6th of the third game of the year against Golden State. The Raptors have won eight straight against sub-500 teams and six-game winning streaks against below 500s for the Spurs, Bulls, and Pistons. Tonight's Southwest standings. 21 straight games against below 500 teams. That's, that's, that's unbelievable. Pretty, that's, that's another one of those things that's really, that's really impressive. I just, the more I'm around this team, the more I just shake my head. So you don't see this kind of stuff very often. It's like looking at the second night of back-to-back. -back. Tonight it's a 10-0. Yep. How, how often do you see that? You don't. You, you see, don't see that. You see that 21 game. Even if a team is below 500 in this league, they, they win games. Gasol missed everything on the drive against DJ, who's back in the game. Will Conroy. Gasol blocked by DJ. That's a big play. Mavis can feed off of that. You feed off of plays like that. Terry fouled on the floor going to the basket. The call on Will Conroy, the rookie from the University of Washington, who was signed last week to a 10-day out of the D League. You know, you know why I like this block? Watch this block, folks. See, he's not looking to knock it up into the 10th row. Just block the shot like Bill Russell did for years. That's what Russell would do. He would block the shot and try, in the process of blocking it, try to tip it to a teammate, and then Celtics were gone. Yeah, it's like an outlet pass they, almost. They were headed the other way. And, and that's the way to block shots. Don't worry about the, the TV block, the big block where you, you knock it up in the 10th row and everybody goes, ooh. Heck with that. Just block the shot. All of the offensive rebounds, and Dallas couldn't get a finish. Their lead stays at nine points. Gay on the move. Long rebound. He has it back. Tipped out by Benga. 4.47 to go, third quarter. Good hands by, by Benga. Good hands. He didn't allow the catch inside by Gasol. By the way, for Dallas, it is now, I can't believe this, two for 18 from the floor in the third quarter. If you can't believe it, then why did you say it? 
Well, it's the truth. That's right. why. And we have to tell the truth, though. Yes, we do. Avery Johnson walked into that timeout with the number 16-5 written on his sheet of paper. That's what the Mavericks are getting outscored so far in this quarter. He said we must be persistent about getting to the basket. And before Avery walked in the timeout, Del Harris walked over to the bench and says, Anybody wonders what Eric Dampier does? He rebounds and he defends the paint. That's what you guys have to do with Damp out of the game. They do draw a charge here. And that's what Benga just did with that block shot that he had a little bit ago hey. against the song. Devin George, and he gets into the paint. Howard tips it home. Benga's hurt. Benga's grabbing that left shoulder. But he races back into the play now. And it's out of bounds off the knee of a Memphis Grizzlies player that was out of Mike Miller, wasn't it? Boy, I think so, but if I'm Benga, I don't I, I don't let anybody think that left shoulder's bothering me. I don't, I don't want to give up the minutes. <laughs> Watch Benga. He's going at, oh, he actually got pushed. I mean, he got pushed badly. Mm. George inside, flipped it up, and will go to the line. We're talking about a guy who had only attempted 29 free throws in 40 games this season coming into tonight. He's already taken two tonight, and he will have two more here after Rudy Gay's fourth foul of the night. Well, the early third quarter woes that Dallas was experiencing had been solved on the defensive end. Now, offensively, things are a little bit better, but they're not nearly as efficient, the Mavericks, as they were in the first half of the game. But defensively, Bob, they've turned the thing around. Yes, and uh, I think that that's probably what Avery Johnson was talking about in the two quick timeouts. That along with, as uh, Laura mentioned, trying to get inside that zone defense. But uh, you, you've got to play, you got to play all the way because every team in this league has players that can that can hurt you. And Memphis, for a team with only 12 wins, has a couple of them who can really hurt you. Gasol and Miller. Well, I thought that point that Dell Harris made that Laura told us about for that last time out was great. You want to talk about what Eric Gampier does? You guys want to know? He defends the paint and he rebounds. And you've got a Memphis team with 30 points in the paint tonight. He just got DJ Benga picking up his fifth foul. And by the way, you've got a Memphis team who gets out rebounded by an average of four a night. A Dallas team who out re who out rebounds teams by an average of four a night, and look what's happening tonight on the boards is a 32-28 Memphis edge. That should not be happening. That's how Jalen uh, like Dan Pierce missed. Yes. Well. And then Jop's missed because Jop can get rebounds, but he's only played 10 minutes with foul trouble tonight. The other thing you want to remember is that when you've got a guy like Dan Pierce or Jop in there, they take up a lot of space and they negate the big guy from the other team they negate him from rebounding so if they in fact do not get the rebound it opens up opportunities for Nowitzki to get rebounds and Howard to get rebounds and and George and right on, on down the line that's the value the big guy may not get the rebound but what he's doing creates opportunities for backdoor cut again and Harris is a good drive but Stackhouse can't finish that's from pass the Mavericks have missed a lot in close here in the third quarter. I mean, we talk about too many jump shots at one point, but they have had inside opportunities that they have failed to capitalize on. Maybe they will capitalize here. Harris gets it off the hand of Stackhouse. 74-63, Mavericks lead the game in the third quarter. Dick Dirk Nowitzki slipping the pick again. Kevin George with a free throw line switch. Nowitzki slipped the pick, didn't go to the basket when he slipped it, but he went to the baseline. Got the pass, and then George got inside. That was off Mike Miller. Oh. pressured him, and Miller lost the pass. The defensive play all the way. On the last time down the floor, look, watch Josh Howard. He reaches in, gets a piece of the ball, gets out of the way, doesn't commit the foul. And the good guys are headed the other way. And they have it again after Miller lost the pass. Howard from Dirk. He'll drive it. And scoring with a foul. No! Wave it off. Josh Howard, offensive foul. Howard had that snowplow out there that time. Clearing out the defender. He made a tough shot, I'll tell you that. Let's see here. Watch his left arm. Watch his left arm. He fended off the defender Miller right there a little bit with his left hand. He got caught. 
Josh Howard has four fouls, and Greg Butler goes in the game for him. With Dan Pierce setting tonight, Butler and Jason Terry are now the only Mavericks who have appeared in every game this season. As tonight is Dan Pierce's first miss of the year. Missed by Johnson. Will Conroy couldn't control it for a tip in, but Akeem Ward with a putback. 76 65 Dallas. Inside two and a half to play in the third. Dallas's lineup is Harris, Butler, Howard, George, and Dirk. And George goes to the basket. Oh, knocked away by Memphis, but he got it back and scores. That's a nice pass by the history. Hey, Devin George hurt that ankle a little bit ago. I believe it's his ankle. He's limping a little bit. He was um, he was limping around a little bit ago. Watch this pass by Nowitzki. That's really a good pass. You talk about threading the needle. You got a block shot there, but George gets it back and finishes. Alexander Johnson fouls him. His second. Memphis over the limit. Three point play opportunity for George. Devin George gets into double digits for the eighth game this season, averaging six points per night, but he has ten tonight. Four of them coming at the line on five attempts. Ward from Cardinal. And a call for travel. Oh. One too many moves. He's moving that pivot foot around, and you're making those moves inside. And you're giving that official an opportunity to make one of two calls. Either the traveling violation or the three-second violation. Stackhouse to Dirk. And defensive three seconds three on the grid. 151 left to the third. Now we can see the ward travel again. I think you can hear Avery here, too. You hear Avery yelling for three seconds. And it was pretty apparent why he was asking for that. Yeah, that's why. It's one of two. One of two calls at that point. 12 4 Dallas push to get some breathing room here. Oh, and George follows home the Buckner miss. And Buck will say after the game that it was a pass all the way. <laughs> It did graze the rim coming back down to Devin George. Not by much. 12 points tonight for George. Dirk leads away with 26. Only two here in the second half. And Alexander Johnson loses it. Oh, 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 oh. That's how guys get hurt right there. Rolled up on his ankle, but I think Devin's all right. That's close to a clip. The Johnson foul will get Devin Harris free throws. This, this, can, this could have been serious right here. That could have been... Real serious. I think the fact that Devin Harris was able to drag that foot kept it from just just yeah, he didn't breaking roll it up. He didn't roll right. up on it. He just kept dragging that uh, defender right in the middle. And uh, now let me lead everyone in a collective exhale. <sighs> Everything's okay. Man, I feel better. Maybe I need a few deep breaths in there. 83-65 Dallas with Harris at the line. And those are the first points of the game tonight for Denver. He's only taken two shots tonight and missed them both. He came into the game shooting 56% for the floor in his last four games. 19 times the Mavericks get the ball back. Yeah. Oh, they get it back right there. Or will they? Yeah, they will. No. Out of bounds. Devin George really makes a, a lot of um, just a, a lot of little plays, a lot of things that kind of go unnoticed. He does them both as an on the ball defender as well as a help side defender. Deep three, Brian Cardinal and Harris off to the races. Jump shot, Nowitzki. And it's 21 with that made basket. It hasn't exactly been artwork. The way Dallas has rebuilt the lead, but well, they've they, done it. They've rebuilt it with their defense. Um, they, they, that enabled them to quit playing against the zone all the time because they were beating it back. They, they just, they're grinding. They, that's they, what they've done. Well, that's what Avery Johnson is. He's a grinder. Look out here. Dirk, three ball. There you go. That's more like it. That's 30. He might get 40 tonight. 
89-65 Dallas. He'll get 18 one night, but I'll tell you what, he'll make up for it. There'll be a night where he'll get back to his average because he gets 30 or 35 or 40. MVP, listen to that chant. That sounds great. That was a miss for Damon Stoudemire, and on the floor, a scrum, and it's going to be a jump ball. Harris and Akeem Ward with 7.3 left in the third. Pretty good hustle by Devin Harris. I think uh, Memphis got down within seven. Is that correct, Mark? That's right. 68-61. They got within seven. And, and 21 to four cents. Mavericks have been able to, to rebuild that lead to their to their credit. And those two quick timeouts by Avery Johnson, you can bet, had a lot to do with it. Jump ball, Warwick and Devin Harris. Stoudemire has it. Devin George hounding him in the corner. Two, one. Shot away in time and no good. We're talking about a Maverick team who led at the start of the third quarter by 20. It was like an arc. It dipped down to seven, but the lead rockets back up to 24. As the Mavericks make a big turnaround late in the third quarter, led by defense. Mavericks did, by the way, make six of their last ten shots in the quarter. And one of those six makes was Dirk Nowitzki knocking down a three-pointer. One of six bombs tonight for Dallas. That's the only one Dirk has tonight. He's got 31. And the Mavericks lead 89-65. See a Texas State Farm agent for discounts up to 40% on auto insurance. Experience giddy uppers. Explore precision steerology. Embrace safety all overness. Introducing a new kind of crossover vehicle, the highly enlightened Kia Rondo. Welcome to Rondoism. All night pet store. Got the idea from Jack. He says you got to offer your customers anything, anytime. No sleeping. A Jack in the Box that might mean a burger for breakfast or French toast sticks at midnight. For me, it might be a poodle at 2 a.m. Are you a laundromat? No. Need a hamster? Order anything on the menu, anytime. From the guy who wrote the book. Recently, Car and Driver invited 600 of its readers to compare three cars in performance, handling, and styling. So who won? Camry? Accord? Actually, the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion came in first. Check it out yourself. Visit your Texas Ford dealer or go to FusionChallenge.com. Now just sign and drive off. With zero down, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing, lease a Ford Fusion for only $249 a month. Take the Fusion Challenge today. The Mavericks looking for a franchise record tying 16th straight home win. And there have been plenty of things to laugh about tonight. Although Memphis made a big charge in the third quarter, the Mavericks were able to forge back ahead by 24 as we head to the fourth here at American Airlines Center. And we thank you for joining us on FSN Southwest with Bob Ordigal and laughing Laura Green. I'm Mark Followell. We get it started in the fourth with Dallas in front, 89-65. LLG? Yes, LLG. She could actually be LL Cool G, as a matter of fact, as Harris will drive into the hoop. First team foul on the Grizzlies here in the fourth. It's on Damon Stoudemire. And uh, what a roller coaster right in that quarter. Tried the last two, five minutes and 52 seconds. And I was still 7 out of 14 from the field. Score 19 points after going 1 out of 14 prior to that. Nice job, Stackhouse. On the floor to get it to Devin George, who scores. A hustle play, a scrappy play by a veteran in Stackhouse. And it sets up Devin George to score with a Gasol foul. Let's take a look at it. 
George inside. Stackhouse fighting for the ball. George picks it up when Stackhouse frees the ball up. And scores. Devin George having a nice ball game. He's got uh, 14. 14 points. He's got four rebounds. Anyone for 15. I'll tell you what, you look out there on the floor right now and you see veterans like Vitsky, Terry, Devin George, Buckner, along with the youngster, Devin Harris, who is going to be a very good player, pretty darn good player right now. Dirk trying to lob it up to Alexander Johnson on a cut in the lane. Boy, Gasol looked disgusted with himself after that. Dirk on the drive. Harris. Running a pick and roll with George and a blocked shot. Rudy Gay got it. Maverick staying that man to man, you can imagine why. You think they don't remember the fourth quarter in Memphis last week? Oh, yeah, they scored eight points in the last 51 seconds, right? Um, yep, Memphis went crazy. You play a zone against them, they'll, they'll take shots. Uh, You'll be back there playing the zone. They'll be shooting from 30 feet. And, and then they hitting them. And, and, and Miller hit one from 30, and Atkins hit one from 30. Yes, he did. Dirk over Stoudemire. Remember, Dirk hit 7 out of 7 in the first quarter. Since then, he's made 5 of 10. On the drive there, oh. Rudy Gay. He got caught up underneath, got it stepped right back in his face, and then scored on the follow. Gasol leads the Grizzlies with 21, and Alexander Johnson and Rudy Gay each have 10. Butler will get in the middle and give it to Harris. See what there you go. You get in the middle against the zone. Yep. You, you freeze defenders. They, they, they come to the ball, and now if you can distribute inside out, you create a lot of problems. It's Gasol, and it's knocked away. He tried to steer it out to a teammate. Then Harris throws it away as he tries to get the break started. Back the other direction. Damon Stoudemire. 94-71 Dallas. 9.35 to play. And for all of the scoring that Memphis has done under Tony Baroni, they are averaging 110 points a game in the last 19 since he took over. They've won six of those games, but they're giving up points at an even, at an even higher pace. They're allowing about 118 per night. And there's, oh, no, not three more. I thought Butner was going to hit a three out of the corner. But what about what about the points that uh, they get against the Mavericks? They don't get 110 against the Mavericks. No, they don't. They got 94 last week, and here they are at 71. That's right. And there's Alexander Johnson having get knocked out of bounds. Well, it's a testament to Dallas' ability to play defense, to slow down a running game, and adapt to different styles being played. If you have to play a grinded-out, slow-down physical game, they can do that. If they have to play an up-tempo, freewheeling game, they can do that. You don't want to pay it a, a play it, that is, at a breakneck pace, but they can still play up-tempo basketball if necessary. And their bench has, has a lot to do with them being able to adjust uh, the different combinations. I'm not so sure. Did Devin Harris get a piece well, of that? I thought he did. As Stoudemire did miss it short, but Lawrence Roberts got it back. And Jock gets right back in the game, and then a foul is called. Oh, no, that's actually on Buckner. 14 steals tonight for Dallas, the most in a game this year. They lead it by 23 with a timeout at 8.52 remaining. Recently, Car and Driver invited 600 of its readers to compare three cars in performance, handling, and styling. So who won? Camry? Accord? Actually, the all-wheel drive Ford Fusion came in first. Check it out yourself. Visit your Texas Ford dealer or go to FusionChallenge.com. Now just sign and drive off with zero down, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing. Lease a Ford Fusion for only $249 a month. Take the Fusion Challenge today. Hey, I'm Ethan Zahn, and yours truly will see you weekly on FC Fox. It's your ticket to everything going on in our soccer nation. Hang out with the man on the street. Fine-tune your game with soccer tips from the pros in our conditioning and training segments. Plus, real-life stories from stars of the game. Be sure to watch FC Fox this and every Friday exclusively on Fox Soccer Channel. They came from every corner of the country, from small towns and big cities. But they all shared one thing in common. 
they belonged to a family called Marines. A tough and determined few dedicated to protecting everything we hold sacred. And still, they come. Celebrate the history of those proud few who have earned the title Marine. The Mavericks on FSN Southwest are brought to you by Southwest Airlines, a symbol of freedom. By your Texas Ford dealers, Ford is best in Texas. By Progressive Insurance, call 1-800-PROGRESSIVE today. By Bacardi, if you're going to drink, be responsible. And by Lombardo Custom Apparel, proud sponsor of the Dallas Mavericks. At American Airlines Center. By the way, happy birthday. It's Gina's birthday. Hey, get off my telescreen. <laughs> what are you doing? Man, mess I never got to do that before. A year and a half of this, and that's the first time I got to use the Telestrator. Yeah, next Apparently time. Apparently, that's the last time I'm going to. I'm going to elbow you the next time you do that. Hey, how about this? The Memphis Grizzlies have 20 turnovers. The Mavericks have seven. The Mavericks have 14 steals. Memphis has two. Wow. Big story there. Yep, definitely. Ah! The salt of the lane out of the timeout scores it. Anthony Johnson has gone in. Dirk's on the bench, having played 32 minutes tonight. 31 points, 8 rebounds. Memphis staying in the zone. There Mavis. you go. Yep. There you go. Inside. Well, Butner slash you. right to the hoodie cue. Thank you. <laughs> Good job. And Butner with his first basket tonight. He had made 14 of 21 over the previous seven games. Just one for four tonight for Buck, and there's Mike Miller burying a three-pointer. He did not hit one tonight, last night, rather, against Houston. He went 0 for 8 on threes last night and was 5 of 17 from the floor. But tonight, he's buried two threes. Actually, he's buried three tonight, as a matter of fact, with that one. 11 points. 20-point Dallas lead with under eight to play. As Anthony Johnson... It's a round of pick, tried to beat the shot clock at air ball, and that is a shot clock violation. And against the Memphis, 20 turnovers, Dallas now has eight. 14 steals for Dallas that Bob noted earlier, and 28 average points off the Memphis miscues. Watch for him to take a three, now he's going to drive it. And Gasol. That's a real nice pass that Miller just made. That's a good job finding the open man. Gasol stepped into the open area, and that freed him up. He didn't, he didn't stay down in tight. He saw the drive going that way. 96-78 Dallas. Jop turned away by Powell Gasol. Jop hasn't scored in 12 minutes tonight. And it's Mike Miller driving and scoring. And a timeout's taken by Dallas. Avery Johnson taking no chances as Memphis whittles this thing down to a 16-point game with 7.07 remaining. Remembering what happened one week ago when Memphis scored, what, eight points in less than a minute? Yep, and 33 in the fourth quarter of that game. After they had scored 33 in the whole first half. Mike Miller for three. He is having an impact here in the fourth quarter as the Grizzlies close within 16. Flying to Houston for business? If these 29 reasons don't convince you to fly Southwest Airlines nonstop to Houston Hobby, maybe this will. Unlike other airlines, our low fares don't have hidden fees. You are now free to move about the country. When you need your truck to work as hard as you do and play even harder, there's no room for second guesses. Toyota Tacoma, legendary for rugged dependability. And with your choice on how to save, there's no second guessing Toyota value. Now pocket 750 cash back when you buy a new 2007 Tacoma or lease a new 07 Tacoma double cab for $259 a month for 36 months with $1599 due. Hurry, these big deals won't last long at your Toyota dealer. Frankie. Oh, my 
7.07 remaining. Mavericks take time as the Grizzlies have got it within 16 at 96.80. Right now, let's look at tonight's Panda Express new firecracker chicken upcoming schedule. And Friday night, it's the Houston Rockets rolling into town. And obviously, you got to talk about that guy, Tracy McGrady, playing very well this season, especially recently in the absence of Yao Ming, who has been out since just after Christmas. McGrady has led the Rockets to a 31-17 and record after 48 games, and at this point of the season, their best record in a decade. And that'll be Friday night at 7.30 on TXA 21. That will make for a great Friday night, let me tell you. Yes, it will. The work week is over. And it's party time in Dallas, Texas on Friday night when the Rockets come to town to take on the Mavs. What kind of chicken was that? That is Panda Express's new firecracker chicken. Firecracker chicken. Yes. And we understand that the early reviews on it are very good. Good. Sounds good. We would like it. We would like it because we like spicy food. Especially spicy and crispy. Yes, indeed. Mike Miller for three. Oh, look out now. Miller goes nuts in situations. He really does. I, I, I think he, he's... The best part of Mike Miller is his fourth quarter play. Just lets it ride. Howard on the drive. DJ's in the game, battling underneath. Now, Benga's playing right now, by the way, with five fouls. He's at 12 minutes tonight, and this is a career high in minutes in a game for Benga tonight, the 12 minutes. I can believe that. With Dampier out of the ball game, it is a 11-point game right now. And if you're Dallas, you don't want to get uh, too, too conservative. You want to be aggressive, push the ball, find the open man. Johnson hits. Everybody contributes. Guys come off the bench. Johnson, Buckner, George, Jop, Benga. People are always contributing. He wants a shot. I thought he was going to shoot. I thought he was too. It's going to be another 30-footer. It's Gasol against DJ. And DJ with five fouls and trying to draw an offensive foul. But what happens is Gasol just loses it out of bounds. And Benga crumples to the floor and hopes he's okay. That does not look good. Let's see if we can get a read on what happened here. Did they bang knees? Watch his right leg. Oh, he, I think he hyperextended his a little bit, Bob. I believe he did. It looked like it looked like that right leg, that right knee caved in, didn't it? Yep. Mm. You, boy, you never know. You just you never know what to say in a situation like that. You don't certainly not in a position to determine what the problem is there. But I'll be taking a look at that. In a short period of time, they can get him through the tunnel. What they'll do is they'll get him on one of those those uh, little four-wheel deals. Yes, one of the carts. Take him straight to X-ray. That'll take place right here. Doctor's down there with him now. Casey Smith, Maverick head trainer, was down there as well. There's Casey. We'll see what what the officials are going to do as it relates. I don't believe a timeout no. was assessed against Dallas. No, I didn't think it was, but he came by the table, and I wasn't sure what he said. Devin Harris in the game. Tony Moroni still down there trying to orchestrate that defense right now. Missed jump shot by Devin George. It was a long two. Bad miss for Rudy Gay. There you go. You got to get in transition again. Three on two. Devin Harris. Dirk with a chance at a follow. He'll go to the line. With 5-1 remaining. 
He can tack on to his total of 31 points. And remember that the Mavericks have not lost this year when Dirk scored 30 or more. 12 games coming into tonight. And number 13 to hit the 30-point plateau. Who's, who's going out? They, there's some confusion as to who's coming in. The line for Dirk tonight. 16 to 2 Memphis run here as the Missy goes to the line to try to stop the lead. The best damn sports show period is the greatest night of sports show on television. And tonight, Chris Rose, John Sally, Rob Dibble, and Rodney Pete break down the top 50 blunders in sports history. The VDSSP's Winter Blast continues tonight at 11, only on FSN Southwest. Will, uh, Samaki Walker making it in the wrong basket be one of the top 50 blunders in sports history. <laughs> if we, if we want to dial it back, if we want to relate to a Maverick perspective. I, I remember looking at that and saying, where is, where is he going? What's he doing? I don't think I said it that way, though. Dallas in front, 100 to 85. Double double for Dirk as he just pulled in his 10th rebound of the game. And that is his 30th double double this year. And a three-pointer for Davitsky is on the money. Give him 36 on the scoreboard. And the Mavericks push the lead back to 18 points. Lawrence Roberts blocked by Dirk. And then foul with 4.18 to go. Three fouls on Dirk. You know, you, you may... Because he has 36 points, uh, you may think Nowitzki's three-pointer right there, you know, wasn't real important because the Mavericks have a, a nice lead. And that that's not true. You had a score of 100 to 85 with a lot of time left, and you got Miller coming back, and you can bet that Miller's going to be coming back into the game, firing up shots. Yes, um, that that is going to happen. That it will be Bunker Hill basketball for Mike Miller now, right? Fire and fall back. Mavericks with double-digit blocks tonight and double-digit steals. 14 steals and 10 blocks. That's pretty impressive. That's good. very impressive. Good stuff. And you got a team averaging 110 points under Tony Baroni that has only 86 right now. I can't imagine there's been a game this year where Dallas has had both double digits and steals and blocks. Howard from Harris. No, he traveled. Traveled. Yes, he did. He went right left. He did. He took the step with the right, took the step with the left, and hadn't yet put the ball down. Josh outquicked himself that time. <laughs> Mark and Bob, the latest on DJ. He did leave the floor to go to the back. He's got a sore right knee. And we can assume that with under four minutes to go, that he most likely will not be back. There's a big-time defensive play. Thanks, Laura. I didn't mean to cut you off there. I think you're probably right on that assumption, but after turning the ball over, Josh Howard goes back on the defensive end and gets it back for his team by drawing a charge. Look at this play. It's a heck of a defensive play. And Gasol is a guy that will go either way. He'll go right, he'll go left. So when I was talking about temperament early and, and Josh's maturity, those are the kinds of things that mature players, good players do. They don't let that mistake stay with them. It's over. Do something about it at the other end. And he does something about it at that end. He hits a jump shot after drawing the charge. You like the way I led you to that? I do. I do. I loved it. It was awesome. 23 tonight for Howard. And the Maverick lead is at 19. Oh, there you go. Oh, he's something. You see where he was, how far back behind the line he was when he took that shot. It wasn't like last week when he was throwing them in from Nashville. But it was a well behind the line. Dirk oh, got it up off the glass. He was looking for contact there. That's why he, he hung on with both hands. What did you say tonight, Bob, that he might get 40? I did say that. The Sol scores, 245 to go. 107-91. Season high in assist tonight for Dallas, by the way, with 28 on 39 made baskets. They've shot 46.5% for the four tonight. Harris leaves for Terry. Having another three. The eighth of the game for the Mavericks. 110-91. Stoudemire misses underneath. And then saves it back in. Gasol dunks.
Gasol's got 29 tonight, by the way, and he came in with back-to-back 30-point games against Houston and Indiana. Timeout's taken here by Dallas with a buck 59 to go. Well, everyone will be focused on Dirk's big line tonight of 38 points, 10 rebounds, and 6 assists, but let's not overlook the guy who should be with him in the All-Star game in a couple of weeks, Josh Howard. Draws the charge at one end against Gasol, and then at the other end, hits from the baseline. He's got 23 points and 9 rebounds himself as Dallas leads by 17. Introducing the all-new Mitsubishi Outlander. Out everything. Everything. I was walking down the street. I saw a poster. With NBA League Pass, you get to see so many great players. That's a terrific block. You get to see so many great games. 61 to 157. So many great moments. It'll come off, Posey gets it, fires the three. Oh, did he win? Not two, one, here's for the win. It's over. And even select games in HD. Don't miss a minute of live NBA action. Get NBA League Pass now for just $99. To order, call DirecTV, Dish Network, or your local cable provider. I saw the NBA League Pass. Did you? Point first quarter got it started off on the right foot for Dallas tonight. They led by 20 at the half. They got front by 24 at the end of three. The Grizzlies have pulled as many as few as 13. Now it's a 17 point game with 159 remaining. Ladies, would you like a chance to win two Maverick Suite tickets for State Farm Ladies Night Out? Just go online. Mavs.com will have all the information you need. As a matter of fact, the first ever State Farm Ladies Night Out was this uh, last Saturday night's game against Minnesota, a game that Dallas won by a score of 94-93. Grocer's in the game. Well, Dirk's not going to get forward. And J.J. Barea with his first appearance since his return from just tearing up the D-League. <laughs> he did tear Here's the up. pistol feed at the D-League. <laughs> Had 43 in one game, 41 in another for the Fort Worth Flyers. Grocer drives. Nope. So it will be the franchise record tying 16th straight home win tonight for Dallas. They've led by as many as 27. We'll see what the final mark of the victory is. They're up by 15 as the basket scored by Rudy Gay. And just Bob, by the way, get a load of this. Before the Mavericks have played 50 games, they will have won four. I like it. That's coming off the years, by the way, when they won 60. 60. Maria on the drive and fouled, and that, JJ will go to the line. That means right now, with this one in the win column, regular season games, that's 100. Out of, let's see, 82 last year and 49 this year out of 131. Try that out. Yeah. 100 wins and 31 losses. Oof. And their last 131 regular season games. Good times. Indeed. You remember them, young man. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Mavericks will play the Rockets on Friday night here at American Airlines Center. Next time we'll be on FSM Southwest. We'll be against the Philadelphia 76ers on Sunday evening. That's the start of a three-game road trip that will take Dallas to Milwaukee and then to close it out against Houston in the last game before the All-Star break. That will be interesting packing for that trip. Philly, Milwaukee, and Houston. Uh, take, take your coat, your hat, and your gloves. Yes. Crozier. Able to get it back. That's a good job. And now you run some clock here. Crozier 
and Jop, the only players tonight who have not scored for Dallas, as Bray has gotten in on the act with a point at the free throw line. Let's see if Crozier can get on the board. Now he'll give it up, and then J.J. gives it up. Anthony Johnson. That's a nice job by J.J. Barea. A good job swinging the ball. Conroy knocked out of bounds. That was Barea with good hands right there, was it? I believe it was. Got the deflection. This is five straight wins for Dallas. It's four straight losses for Memphis. He better get that deflection because he was beaten and he would have heard about that. Mm -hmm. We've seen it tomorrow. Yes, even the last few seconds of the game can be on film. Oh. And something can be taught about it. Well, a foul with 11.4 remaining. Job picks up the foul. And so some free throws here. That's Alexander Johnson who will attempt them. He has his third NBA double-double with 10 points and 10 rebounds tonight. It's the show for Mavs fans. Friday at 10, check out the Mavs Insider for behind-the-scenes insight into the lives of your favorite players. It's the Mavs Insider. Friday at 10, only on FSN Southwest. Johnson has some work to do on his free throws. Mm-hmm. He's four out of seven tonight. And he missed that one. Crozier controls it, and the Mavericks can dribble out the clock on win number 40 of the year. And Memphis will not get 100 points. No, they won't. Put it in the books. Dallas wins it. 113-97. 40 wins and nine losses and 16 straight at American Airlines Center for the Mavericks. That ties a franchise record for the longest home winning streak. It's pretty impressive stuff. Um, Mavericks have a shot at it uh, on Friday night, setting a new record. But let me tell you, they're playing a ball club on Friday night. Uh, that is good. Uh, they're good. Yes, they are. They're talented. Uh, they're as good as they've been in a long time, and they're extremely well coached. It's the Houston Rockets who will be coming to town on Friday night. Dallas puts this one in the books by winning by a margin of 16 points tonight here at American Airlines Center. For Bob Ortigal and Laura Green and our entire crew, I'm Mark Followell. On the other side, it'll be Mavs Live on FSN Southwest.